Good morning, friends. It's time for us to do our calendar for today. Let's get started with our days of the week. What day is it today? Good, today is Wednesday. It's hump day, as Miss Varnell says. It's that middle day of the week that tells us we're halfway through and almost to the weekend. If today is Wednesday, what day was it yesterday? Tuesday. And with today being Wednesday, what day is it tomorrow? Good, tomorrow is Thursday. Now let's sing our days of the week song and remember to say splish splash in between days of the week. Splish splash. Splish splash. Splish splash. Splish splash. Splish splash. Splish splash. All right, this is our month of May, and we're going to count our days so far this first week of May. So get your finger ready, point with me, and count. One, two, three, four, five. And today is the sixth day. Today is Wednesday. There's our day of the week. Wednesday, May the 6th. There we go. And tomorrow is a very special day. What day is tomorrow? It's Aspen's birthday coming up very, very soon. So we can't forget. We're going to uh, sing happy birthday to him tomorrow here on calendar time. And I'll put it on Dojo too. All right. Now then, let's look at our number of the day. It is the number six. I want you to take out your blue paintbrush. Start at the top with me. Remember, we do a curvy line all the way around. There are no straight lines in this number. So we start at the top and we go around in a curve all the way to the floor and then we curve up to the middle and we touch our first line to make a six. Can you show me six on your fingers? Okay, can you show me another way to make six? All right, so you could have said five and one. Five on one hand, one finger on the other. Or you could have said four plus two or three plus three. Okay, we're going to stand and we're going to sing our months of the year. This month is the month of May. What letter does May start with? It starts with an uppercase or capital letter M, and M says M. Mm. Let's sing our months of the year song together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Okay, friends, let's check the weather outside. Take your binoculars, go over to the window closest to you, and look and see what is the weather like at your house today. Now, at my house today, it is very, very cloudy outside. I don't see any rain. I think there's a, maybe a little chance of rain today, but there, it's mostly just cloudy outside. So we've had equal kinds of weather, right? Three equal kinds of weather because we've only had one day each of rainy weather, one day of cloudy weather, and one day of partly cloudy weather. We have not had any just sunny days yet, but I think there are some coming our way soon. And that'll be amazing so we can go outside. 
Uh, we're going to count by tens now. So I want you to hold your hands up in the air for each ten, um, just like I've got the hands here on the board. And here is uh, the pattern. So follow along with me as we count. If there is one you forget, don't worry about it. Listen for me so that you'll get it next time. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now let's count by five. So we're gonna do the same thing. I want you to hold up one hand though this time with just five fingers. Whoops, my finger slipped, sorry about that. And we're gonna follow the pattern over here to count from five all the way to 100. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, now we're gonna look at our shapes again today. We've been looking at these shapes all week. I want to ask you a few questions and see if you can remember some things about a few of these shapes. So my first question is, what shape is this? This is called a cube. A cube. Is a cube a 3D solid shape or a 2D flat shape? Good, this is a 3D solid shape because if you think about dice or any kind of box, if you turn it sideways, if you're looking at it one way, it may look like a square or a rectangle, but if you turn it sideways, you're gonna see this other side over here and that's what's gonna tell you that this is a solid shape or a 3D shape. If it were a 2D shape, you would not see anything but this straight line. You would just see the edge or the side of the shape, and that would be it. All right, let's look at this jar of pickles. Do you remember what shape this jar is? What's it called? Good, this is a cylinder. And is this a 2D or a 3D shape? It is a solid 3D shape. A cylinder has a circle at the top, and the bottom is also round like a circle and the sides are also round. So anytime that you drink out of a cup, you're drinking out of a cylinder. Um, any jar that we use like this in the kitchen or even um, at school, we have some of these. These are cylinders. Okay, so is a cylinder, if you turn it sideways, it would look exactly the same you would not see any sharp edges because there are no sides. It's round all the way around. All right, now let's look at one more shape. What shape is this? Yes, this is a triangle. Is a triangle a 2D or a 3D shape? It is a 2D flat shape. So if we took this triangle and we turned it sideways, we would only see one side. It would look like a straight line because this is a flat 2D shape. How many vertices does a triangle have? Let's count them. One, two, three. So a triangle has three corners or vertices. How many sides does a triangle have? One, two, Three. So remember the sides are these straight lines on the side and the vertices are the corners. Okay, good deal pickles. All right, let's do Oh What a Rain That Would Be today. So stand up, get ready to sing with me.
Okay, friends, that's it for us today. Don't forget, today is the day, parents, when you can come to school and pick up your child's bag of goodies. Um, we have yearbooks and school pictures, pencil boxes, headphones, everything that was in our classroom with your child's name on it has all been put into a bag for them. Um, we went through the reading bags at school, so we have a few things that were um, in reading bags, but there's not a whole lot else um, that's there. You can come to the school building anytime between 10 and 2 o'clock today, and um, all you'll do, we're going to put everything out beside the um, the edge, the the end of the building. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tongue-tied. The end of the building where our classroom is. And we're going to set everything out on the sidewalk. We're probably going to put some like bright yellow butcher paper down and put all their bags on top of that. So you'll kind of know that that's our class. And um, you can just swing by anytime, pick those up. We are not allowing um, anybody in the building today other than faculty and staff. But if I see you, I'll wave to you out the window. <laughs> I would love that. Um, and if there's anything that you have like medication or anything in the office, please let me know so we can make sure that we get that to you as well. And um, as always, if you have any questions, shoot me a dojo. I'm happy to answer anytime. Um, that's it today. We will have a very special calendar time tomorrow since it's Aspen's birthday. And we'll see you all then. Bye.